Welcome to IAPA, the largest expo for the attractions industry in North America. In this video, you'll see some arcade games you've never seen before. Come on, oh my god, level three, first ball. Oh my god, level four. Look at this, this could be super bonus right here. Oh my god, how lucky did I get? I traveled all the way from Pittsburgh to Orlando, Florida for the yearly IAPA Expo. At this event is arcade game distributors, roller coaster manufacturers, and more, showcasing all their new stuff. Make sure you watch till the end for a cool surprise and a crazy win on a game like you've never seen before. All right, guys, so this game at LAI Games booth is Dragon's Bane. We, this is our, our uh, first game that we're filming here because it's ready for the super bonus. We knock the pearl over, we get the treasure bonus. So you shoot the coins in this thing, and then it shoots out the cannon there, and then it gives you awards. Oh look, what if you make it in there? Oh, it gives you like a bomb and then you win more things. That's neat. So let's see if we can knock this pearl over here, guys, for the treasure bonus. We only need one more, and this is one of those games that you definitely want to check. There's three different sides, and they, we noticed this one here only has one left. I like the video game mode. Oh, I hit the dragon, I don't know what that does. What does killing the dragon do? So they said that once his health is down, guys, you get a mini game. And there's like five or six different ones. That's neat. All right, we got the treasure bonus. All gems acquired. Congratulations, player two. Oh, look up. We get a bonus wheel. We, oh, we press it. We press it. That's, and I like that too. 3,000 tickets! Dude, I think it's the best you can get on the wheel. Look, and then it's bending the, oh, that's neat. Oh, look, and it shoots, it craps out 200 more. Wow, that's awesome. And then that in turn is gonna push more of the, uh, the pearls over. That's awesome. First look at Dragon's Bane, guys. We hit that treasure bonus. That was neat. I love this. Yeah, yeah, this is addicting. Not to be biased, but LAI Games does have the coolest booth because look, your goobers on there. Who's this goober? You guys might see that on uh, arcades around the, well, actually around the world. I think I had somebody in the UK. It was like, hey, you're over here, man. And I'll show you guys Rick and Morty too. Check this out. So we've played Rick and Morty before, but that ha that's a how-to thing as well. So shebang. All right, so. Uh, uh, we're at another booth, guys, but look, you gotta move the paw. This is more like an overseas game. Oh, oh, you have to go higher, okay. So, and then you push it. That's kind of neat, though, but it looks like the paw. Then Talk to the go. paw. Oh, wait. Oh, you have to move it, and then you, okay. All right, we're learning. We're learning, guys, we're learning. So what's nice is you can use the joystick on this one. All right, let's see if we can get that bottom one. Uh, oh, so close. I feel like this one's wider. Maybe they're all the same. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Wait, that like just fits in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to get the paw through. Kind of neat. So we're at the Zoom Studios booth, guys. Duck Pond Frenzy. So it looks like, I don't know which one is the thousand. Maybe that gold one there. Come on, ducky, yeah, okay. We got something, 150. That's neat. All right, guys, so we're at Pipeline Games booth here. I haven't seen this one yet. So it's like a marble pusher, but it gives prizes. That's kind of neat. And then it actually bends stuff off the top, too. That's cool. Uh, and then if you time it, I guess, depending on when you drop it, see, I got four beads that craps out of the right side there. Oh, they call them beads. Oh, interesting. What do you guys call these things? Let me know in the comments. Pearls, beads. Adam, what do you call them? Beads. <laughs> beads? Okay. Adam calls them beads and balls. That mystery box just like doesn't know what it wants to do here, guys. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, we almost got that mystery box. Let's see if we can get it. We're gonna stay on this side here. It's got that weird lip there is the only thing. Yeah. We may never get it. All right, we'll leave it for somebody. That's a cool game though. It's called Look Out Below. Love it. Let's see if I can win a shoe. These claw machines, look how adorable this claw is, guys. I think Pipeline Games makes some really good claws. Oh, I suck. This is neat. We're still at Pipeline Games booth. You poke a prize. Oh, see, now this reminds me of like, uh, what's that light stop game? Sports Arena with like the little hooks and how they hung. Let's see if we can time one. Oh, for Blue's Clues. Almost had them. Now, at IAPA, guys, since a lot of these games are on free play and demo mode, you don't actually win the prize, but it's still fun to play them. You just get unlimited play and you can kind of practice them. Ooh, that's tricky. I like this, so it's a quick game. Ugh. 
keep getting it right in the middle. <laughs> it's tough to kind of line it up though, like what you're going for. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't win the dino. That's a cool game though. Neat little concept, simple to understand. I guess some have a certain have a payout. So like New Jersey and other areas, you guys, they have different things that they have to follow. So there is a skill version available, which is pretty neat. But I guess you can kind of set like a payout on it too. That's neat. Guys, check this out. It's Lucky Digger. Man, this is insane. Oh, and then you gotta bring it over, look. Then it goes in there, it goes up, but oh, that's neat. And then it drops down and then you would get tickets, guys, based on what it falls on the Plinko board. Let's see, that one's gonna be going down here. Oh, look at that. What a hoot. 15, okay. Oh, we got two on this one. There's another one ready to go. Let's see what it goes in. Come on, 50. Ah, oh, five. This is pretty neat. We get a lot of time on this, that's good. It's going back and forth. Let's see, five, come on, 50, yeah, there we go. Shabang, that's how we hit big numbers here on Arcade Matt. So what's that number back here mean? What is that telling me back there? <laughs> Oh, points, okay. Oh, I see, it's point-based, okay. And then, oh, you would get like a prize based on how many points you get. Not another 50, I'm not even paying attention. 165, time's up. Oh, we got two more. Oh, that's neat. Let's see, it's still adding them, guys. 10 and 10, 185 total, hey. I'd say that's not too shabby, first game. That was cool, thank you. All right, so we're at the Eunice booth here, guys, and uh, this is a new game, they have Parallel Universe. No clue what, the, okay, so it goes back and forth. Oh, I'm assuming you want to time it to go in there. 76, interesting, okay. It's a quick game. Oh, and then it like randomizes maybe where it's going next. Yeah, okay, so it changed. Oh! So I don't know what this, oh, maybe this gives you a chance at the super bonus. Kind of neat. Two, it's a quick game. I like it though, Ooh, that's tricky. Here we go, JP, let's see what this does though, I don't know. I think it spins this. I don't know what these lights give you. Eh, come on. Jackpot of 50, what? That's horrendous. It's kind of timeable. There, look, we got it again. Let's see if we can get a better thing here. That's neat, it picks it up and then spins it. I don't know if you, yeah, you can stop the thing too. I guess the different colors mean different things. Oh, you might have to spell bonus or something. The blue, I don't know what, oh, blue gives you 50. Yeah, so it must be certain one spot a letter. You fill that up to get the super. I don't know, I like this game, it's kind of neat. I love the physical aspect of it. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Pretty cool. Guys, we're still at the Unis booth. Dynamic orbs, I've never seen this one before. Oh, you're actually dropping them, that's kind of neat. Oh, and then if it lands on stop, I guess it's whatever the light's on. Yeah, okay. Stop, stop, 12 tickets there. Oh, and look, it, see the bigger pearls down there? Here, I'm gonna fire a bunch, try to... Oh, and certain ones actually bend out the smaller marbles and then you push them over. That's neat. We got 500 on the edge, guys. Let's see if we can work it over here. Kind of just doing some rapid fire here. You, you preferably want it on the, the small pearls. That's the only way it's gonna push those. Eh, almost. I kind of like how they're labeled in there, that's neat. Taking a long time to work them over. That's the only thing. Come on, 500, it's there! There we go, look at that. That's neat. The only thing, I wish it had more, like, bigger values, because that's a lot of plays I spent just to work that over. But there's only, like, two or three on the back that give you out the small pearls, so you definitely have to play a lot on it, but it's still a cool game. Guys, check us out, Mech Shooter. Oh, that's neat. It actually, the gun actually clicks. It actually clicks in there. Man, I can't hit the side of a barn. <laughs> Jeez, look at this. I feel like it's not calibrated. We'll blame it on that. It's pretty neat. I haven't seen that before. Level two, oh my God. Oh, you have to hit some of them twice. I don't know if this gives you, oh, it does give you tickets. So that's pretty neat. So I guess you gotta hit so many to get that super bonus. Yeah, that's cool. It's a little tough to pull that the, the trigger in though. I'm, I'm gonna be getting carpal tunnel after this, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Does it feel how hard that is to pull, keep pulling that at him? 
After a while, it gets... Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that's neat, though. I like it. It's got a ticket bonus on that. Very cool. I don't know who the booth... Is this yours? Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's our case. Yeah, that's yeah, me. Yes. What's your... Com oh, is that your company there? Yeah, okay. Them. I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but that's them. <laughs> that's a cool game. We like Thank that. You. Yeah. Thank nice you. to meet you. Here, I got a sticker for you. I've Have you seen me? Long time. Oh, awesome. He's been <laughs> following me all the way from... You guys are based in where? Uh, Guangzhou, China. China, wow. Guangzhou, China. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but it's so cool. That's a really cool meeting all these different manufacturers, like literally from all over the world, guys. That's what we're going to be doing today. So, yeah. And they're here just showcasing some of their uh, new games and stuff that they have. So, yeah, it was nice meeting you. Must be. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good luck with your... Yeah, sure. All right, so this is Amusement Source International here. They got some games I haven't seen before, like this. Looks interesting. Oh, you gotta get them in the right color. Oh, I see. Oh, that's neat. Oh, that's tricky. Wow. Oh my god, it gets faster too. Dude! <laughs> you gotta kind of look ahead. It's like columns. You guys are. My mom was a piece of columns. Shout out to the arcade mom. Dude, this is impossible. <laughs> By the time I turn it, it's like. Wow, it's that top. So then I guess if you get so many, you get the super bonus. Good Lord. I, it's cool, but man, that was tough. Let's see what this is. Fantastic train. Oh, you want to get it in the red maybe or the flashing one? I don't know what's going on there, but it, yeah, white. Now we got yellow for 15. I don't know how you get, oh, collect all five reds to win the super bonus. That's neat, and then you get, okay, if I would read. Oh, so see the reds up there now. Oh, that's tricky. It's weird because it's, it's hard to tell how fast you're pulling the, the thing back. It's cool. It's a quick game. And this is intriguing too. Uh, rotate left or right. Good lord. Whoa, look at that. Three large balls win the bonus. Oh, you got to fill them up, I guess, or something. Look, that one's stuck. And you can go either way too. Oh, there's the large ball right there. You guys see the white ones? If you get it up there, you got that wins the bonus. Oh, that's cool. I feel like you want to go easy though. That's tough to get them up there. Come on, get up there, you goobers. Oh, there's one, look. And you gotta do it before the timer's up, obviously. Eight seconds. Okay, that's neat. Oh, there was the red one there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's cool. And then I guess the more you fill those up, you get like smaller tickets. Very cool. Tough though. Furry dunk. <laughs> nice! Cats and dogs on here. This is interesting. I'm intrigued because it's Plinko. There we go. Oh, uh, and then it spits it down there. It goes in the wheel. It's kind of neat. I don't know if you collect them or... If some of these games are a little in-depth and, you know, especially these ones that are more like overseas, you know, they're a little bit more tougher to understand, but it's cool to play because we never get to see these here, you know. That's neat. All right, this is Clutch Shoot. Oh, I see, you time it. It's kind of like a rubber bouncy ball. Oh, crap, what was that? I'm guessing ideally you want it in the hoop. Press the button, ball goes through the basket to win the Clutch Shoot. Light up nine, wins the bonus. I can't make a god dang, this is like my real basketball game right here, guys. Down the toilet. Then if it goes down here, you just get random ticket values. Oh, you let, wait, you have to light all these up to win the bonus, maybe. Yeah, we need one more, maybe? I don't know what the, the clutch shot is, though. Oh, that's like some multiplier thing. Look, we almost had it. I cannot make it in there. I want to see if that gives us the bonus, guys. We need one more. Let's see if we can do it here. Come on, eight! Oh, get in there! Oh, that was so intense. Come on, we need that eight right there for the super bonus. I cannot hit the, oh, it was in there. Got robbed. Come on, eight. Oh my God. It's like kind of timeable, but it's a little bit of luck too. Let's see if we can make a hoop. Nope. There we go. Clutch shoot. I'm up at five X now. Come on, eight. There it is. Yeah. Now does that give us the bonus? Yeah, look, bonus. And the arcade can set that at whatever. Nice. Oh, the clutch shoot combo, I guess, is another separate bonus or something. That one's probably the higher bonus there. All right, I can't make them for the life of me. Very cool game, though. I'm definitely intrigued on that one. This is Ticket Champ. I love the look of the game. I can't make one to save my life, though. You got to score so much, look, to get the bonus. Let's see if we can do it. We got 80 seconds. Good Lord. 
Oh, some of them are zero. So you gotta go for the ones that are lit. Oh, I see. Interesting. Ah, look at, <laughs> I just see that. And I didn't even make it. How insane is that? Adam would be good at this game. He's behind camera right now, guys. Shout out to Adam, he's making all this happen here. Appreciate all his help. I can't make a god dang ticket roll. I swear, it's tougher, cause like you gotta get it through that, you know. Those bottom ones are the toughest. They, they got that smaller loop. It's a neat game, good lord. I'll be lucky I get a plastic spider with all that I have here. 300 I got, that's a perfect game in bowling. Look at that, for eight tickets. That's a Tootsie Roll right there, man. Cool game though, I like it. Cool boy. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here at Ace Amuse booth and uh, check this out. It's like a little bulldozer thingy game. You pick it up and then it's a pusher. I always like these. Let's see if we can get that skateboard. Get it? Aw, oh, come on, bruh. Eh. Let's get something. There we go, we got a green thingy. Now it goes over there. Oh, we got two, look at that, wow. Push, push. Not yet, let's see if we can get a skateboard. I like the middle thing too, where you can display the prizes. I always look a sucker for stuff like that. It's got a grab, but it's just not grabbing. Let's try this side. This side got more stuff. Oh, that's got it. Oh my God, look at all that. There we go, that's the side to play. Look at this, boom. <laughs> nice, whoa, look at all that. And you can kind of put whatever in that, it's kind of neat. It's cool, that's a cool boy. <laughs> Weird name for a game, but I love it. Look at this little claw machine, guys. This is uh, Dream Funds. Everything's like real glittery here. I love it, I'm intrigued. So these are more ones that you'd see like overseas. So like North America market, we don't really see this stuff and I wish we would, it's so cool. Look, I just drop it on there and then you win. That is so neat. I just want a freaking delicious cookie. That's awesome. I love the lights, a very bright game too. That's what I like about it. And you can really put whatever you want in here and then it just pushes them over there. Yeah, that's cool. Very like, look how bright this booth is, guys. Like, so much. Let's see if we can get something. Oh, got him, Ah! Oh. <laughs> Almost by the hair. Check this out, look. It's like so cool, like you don't see this stuff. I mean, it's a claw machine, but it just looks uber different, obviously, than the ones we have here. Look, we got a little, I love the little trinkets in there too. Oh, this looks fun. Move the joystick, grab a capsule. This looks intriguing. This looks like something that'd be on like Tariba or something. Look at this. Nice. Oh, oh, and if you get it in there, you'd win. Oh, that is neat. Let's see if we can get one. It's tough. Oh my Lord, that thing is like violent as crap. Not that one. Let's see. Yeah, see, and then it's gotta, it's gotta just line up in there. Oh, oh this is, I love this. Dude, I'd be sitting here all day at this. Come on, major prize, we can win a creepy baby doll. Yeah, baby doll, yes. I want a creepy baby doll. I don't know how you, oh, and then you contact the attendant to get a prize. Guys, I just want myself a creepy baby doll, look. Guaranteed to not come to life at 3 a.m. Not clickbait, million views on YouTube. Let's move down, this one's intriguing too. Oh, look at this, you pick up the little magnetic I'm assuming it's magnetic. Oh my, oh that's neat. Looks like a marble run. Oh, that's neat. And I guess certain ones vet keep bending them down or something. How hard can that be? Oh, there's probably one or two holes though. Okay, yeah, we didn't get any down there, crap. It is tougher than it looks. I just wish it was marked on which one actually was the, the hole that's one that we want. Like if I were redesigning, like polishing the game, that's what I would do. That's kind of neat. And it goes in the back. So it's got different levels. It's intense. Come on, baby, let's get a get. We can get a, a circus jelly. Ah, oh, down the crapa. One more. Oh, that could, oh, that's pretty cool. Try one more for good measure. Why can't we have games like this over here? You know, it's like, come on. I love the physical games like this. How intense that is. That one marble now, come on. Can't look, that, it's tough, but cool. Dude, I'm loving their games at this booth. All right, so you guys know that I love roller coasters, and as we're filming this right now, Top Thrill 2 just got announced a little bit early in the year at Cedar Point, and they just unveiled their train here, Zamperla. Look at these wheels, this is insane. I mean, this is bigger than like my head. That is crazy, I mean, that's a solid piece of uh, roller coaster car right here, guys. I wanna go sit in it. Wow. Arms down, head back, and hold on. Here we go, woo! 
You're real free in this though. This is so much better than that side to side thing. Wow, that's neat. Adam pointed something out, guys. They got the little spoiler on the end. Oh, that's neat, look at that. That's a sleek looking coaster train there. Guys, we're at the Bay Tech booth. Toilet bowl toss. Look at this. Oh. Crap a brick. <laughs> Grab a bunch of balls. Oh, grab a bunch. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, I see it, and it gets tougher because the lid comes down. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Get in there. Oh, that's tough to get it in that. I want 30 tickets. I'm still tossing the crap over here. Whee! Are you, are you the guy from TikTok? Are you, are you, are you, are you make the videos of Arcade? Yeah, Arcade Matt. Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you met a goober. What's your name? name Mateo! Yeah. Look at that. Another Matt, but the Spanish version. Thank Here, you. I got a sticker for you, too. Oh, thank you. I always wonder, how do you like, how do you get so good at the arcade? Practice. Yeah, I mean, I bought a claw machine my first job. You guys know this. I saved up, bought a claw machine, studied it, you know, and I studied it. That was the older ones, of course, that were more yeah. skill-based, but a lot of it's practice. Like, when they came out with Pop the Lock years ago, I was terrible at it. But that game, you know, you just once you practice and learn, like, you know, when to how they work and stuff, then you can yeah. try to figure it out. But a lot of it's practice. That's cool. Yeah. All right. So Thank you. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All righty. All right. First, my buddy Eric here. This is still at the Bay Tech booth. Goats and ropes. Cool. All right. Let's see who wins. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> wow. This is okay. Oh! No! 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 Go the other way, you dingleberry! <laughs> Oh, as if it isn't hard enough. Oh, I got to the finish though. You killed me. 68 tickets. <laughs> this is a very strange game. I like it though. What'd you think, Eric? It was a very hard game. Very hard no game. Idea what I was doing. It's tough because you got to do from the rope and the buttons. That's the only part that was really tough about it. But yeah, it's interesting. Arrive in 2024. Yeah. Play again. All right. Do you lose your points when you yeah, like point one. I don't know. Ugh. It gets tough right here. You don't want to get. Oh, I got spiked. <laughs> get up there! Oh, I don't know. I think with practice, I can do this. You guys know Bay Tech games, they make really cool games and they're always all skill games. So you have to beat that time and then the jackpot you see is increasing. So, yeah, that's neat. I like it. Jersey Jack Pinball just came out with Elton John. Adam's trying it. We both like to play pinball. So, this is literally his first game on Elton John. Shabang. This is one game that we can learn before all the Pittsburgh pinball peeps. I like the lights on this game. Visually gorgeous. Very bouncy. Woo! Definitely got... one of the better playing ones. Yeah, Adam, Adam likes it. There's a claw machine with some different shaped uh, ticket things. <laughs> Come on, Adam. You got a, oh, there you go. Look, Adam got 50 tickets. Nice. <laughs> Let's see if I can get anything, guys. Let's try for the star. Does that have double clamp? Yeah, it does. Oh, is that nice? And it's gone. <laughs> nice. Awesome. All right, we're benchmark games, guys. Superman Worlds United. Drop any puck in the center column to win the wheel bonus. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I see, and then you fill the columns up down here. Boy, the things they think of, man. That's tough to get it in there. Multi bonus something. 20 tickets. It's, it's like crapping them out on its own. That one right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but it, it just gives you what's on the wheel. Wow, good lord. Hey, how's it going? My name's Nikaio. Oh, hi. I'm one of the design engineers. Here. Oh, awesome. For this game? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. We're really proud to bring this game Yeah, out. this is nice. It's got a lot of conventional gaming mechanics. Right, which I love. Yeah. It's tough to get this middle thing. Oh, yeah, Take so that peg out of there, man. I don't like it. <laughs> so actually, mathematically, it's a 1 out of 18. Uh, Jeez. Yeah, but you got to skill it. Yeah, I know. So generally, what I try and do is drop it right in the center so it hits vertically on that peg in the center there. And that way, it'll stay right There we around. go! Oh, oh man. man. You got to get that middle peg, I'm telling them. The yellow block here, there'll be four of them in a game. That's yeah. your super jackpot. If you land that in that column over there, that will provide you with 10,000 tickets. Oh, wow. So yellow puck in this column is yeah. 10,000. Guys, good lord, super seed bonus. Yeah, this might be okay. There we go. We got 40. It's 
So when it goes in there, it's whatever this is on? Yeah, so essentially when okay. it lands on a villain, it'll issue one of these 10 cards. There's two rares. Oh, and it's a card game too, guys. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this might be one I have to do. If, I, if we, our case start getting this, I might have to do a how-to play video. If you want to come by the factory, I can set it up. Oh, my God. Yeah, we'll have to set something. We're filming Elot filming here, guys. Look at us. They're kind of interviewing me. Hey, guys. Arcade Matt here. We were just playing the new Superman Worlds United game. Super cool game. I mean, there's so much going on. I didn't even know there was, like, card collecting, too. We love this game. The cabinet art is gorgeous, and uh, we hope to see it in some places soon up in Pittsburgh! <laughs> Guys, we're still at the Elot booth here. I know they got a new coin, a pusher. Here we go. Smurfs. That's a cool theme. Let's try it. So there's different Smurfs. I wonder if that's the rare one, maybe. The one in the middle. Let's see if we can get that Smurf. There we go. And these are RFID too, so there's more security on them, which is nice for the arcade. Oh, look, you can pause the, that is neat. Yeah, look at that, and you can load them up and then boom. Look at that. That's such a nice feature. Collect the present to spin the bonus wheel. I think we did it right there, guys. And it gives you random things. So there's 30 tickets. Oh, that's how it bends the card. Yeah, I like the wheel aspect. I don't know how you collect the present, though. Oh, it's him back there. It's like a board game, kind of. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I like that aspect, too. Look guys, Elot listened to us. There's, you can buy Mr. Claw, whereas the last year they didn't. They were just exclusive. Stefan, shout out to him. They're amazing here at Elot. Gave me a whole set from the new Smurfs coin pusher. How cool is that? Totally going in the collection. What's different about this claw machine though, guys? Yeah. There's something that's totally different that's not really on any of the other machines. Let me know if you guys see it yet. So you guys notice, this is the back of the machine. You can see through the whole god dang thing. So it's called the crystal. You can see 360 degrees. So if you have an arcade, you don't have to worry about blocking eyesight, for example. And I, I told Axel, I'm like, why didn't they think of this sooner? You know, it's like one of those things that it's like, wow, that's... And I didn't really notice it until he pointed it out, but that's pretty cool. Now we're over at Coastal Amusements, guys. So we did play this last year because they actually changed this to where it's at you, the handle now road trip and you have to just get it on the bonus there it's real tough it's a cool game i don't really see it anywhere i wish more places would get it i love the physical aspect of it and it has a accumulating super bonus too here at the coastal amusement booth guys this is dragon's treasure picks them up drops them and pushes them over oh and then it rfids and then it pushes it back so you don't have to collect them that's kind of neat for the arcade they don't have to worry about collecting the ticket rules that's neat dave and busters had a coin game like that reminds me of this back in the day and i can't remember the name of it anymore they don't have they haven't had it for a while it was a nice token action game and there was this claw that picked up coins let me know in the comments if you guys know what i'm talking about but it was older this was like years ago i don't even think i was doing videos then whoa look at this dude jackpot look at all those going in there and then if you work the bigger values over ideally is what you'd want and then it, it like does a good job of mixing them up which is neat so win treasures i don't know how you get the big treasure though let's see oh collect a golden roll to win dragon treasure in the center plate ah okay so it's that gold roll right there you gotta get you have to win it and then it gives you i guess it's something up there interesting i don't know if it's timeable it's neat though yeah so this is wow look at that 75 there's a 10 in there picking them up again nope missed that one. Oh, see there's a gold one there i don't know if it lets you keep going because there's a timer i think it's however many you can pick up in 30 seconds yeah because look it's letting me go again oh i just missed a gold one like a doofus look that would have been it right there oh almost yeah we got a 10. it's a cool game i like it it's visually interesting hurry up oh! guys guess what booth we're at sega so let's see what they got here guys noticing a lot of these which is kind of cool boy is that a genius thing to put on there pokemon cards dude let's see if we can win one pokemon oh i got it oh dude that was close come on pokemon cards how close it's tough to line it up let's not let's just not look here we go ready not looking i did just as better not looking eric go ahead try it uh, oh oh you almost had minion he almost had it son of a biscuit let's try this one. Oh, there we go oh doofus oh, i almost had buzz freaking light here let's see what else sega has here oh zania here we go oh look party time 
Ready? Ready? Oh, look at you! And then if you get it in a wheel, you have to time it here. Wheel bonus. Oh, I got some lucky wheel bonus. Party time! Oh, let's see. It has to be when the lights there. There's a lot going on. I'm a little confused. It's a cool game though. So if you just launch it up there, you're gonna get multi ball, right? Look, I got multi ball action. Oh, look, multi ball. Party time. So if you launch it all the way, you get the party time. Timing for the party time. Yeah, see, but it has to. Oh, I got a bonus. Oh, you have to light all. Uh, if you light them all there, I think is what wins that. Yeah, that's neat. Polar slide. We're still at the Sega booth here. I think I showed this one last year, but I, it was hard to film myself. But So you drop the puck, and then it goes down. You got to time it in the bonus there. I think this is a cool game. This reminds me of like the old school, like, uh, like uh, what's that one? Oh! I like had a baby there, almost had it. Yeah, this is tough. I like it though. Yeah, it's like wheel deal, guys. The old school wheel deal game. We want more of these back! Oh! Yeah, this one's intense, I like it. But see, if you don't drop it in here, you gotta watch this thing too. So it's a lot of, it's tough to get a strike point on this game. Oh, bonus! But see, if it goes past it, you're done. This is tricky for that bonus. Here it is. Did I get it? I wasn't even paying attention! Guys, what an idiot. I got it, look, 300. Wasn't even paying attention. Dollar slide, baby, shebang. All right, guys, we're at the Player One Amusement Group booth here. This looks interesting, prize popper. Oh, you have to not, I think, oh, you load them in. I don't know how to load them in. Is this your booth? Yeah. How do we load these in? Load it in the front on the side end, sorry about that. Oh, I see. Yeah. Nice, okay. So if you knock them all down, then you win the prize. Oh, I tried for the green. I suck. I can't hit the side of a barn on anything. Let's see if we can hit the blue thing. Oh my god. All right, I can't hit anything. How about you, Eric? I haven't made a one yet. <laughs> kind of weird. Oh, I got the orange. You gotta knock them all down, though, to even win it. I like it because it's a prize game, though. Guys, we're at Greedy Frog. He eats you in one bite. It's 3 a.m., not even clickbait. <laughs> so you gotta get as many. He has to eat all the balls. His stomach expands. Oh, that's neat. He has like, he's filling up on ball crawl balls. I guess that's why they call him the greedy frog. All right, so we're at the Smart Industries booth, guys. You guys might remember this when they sent me to Houston. Nobody knew about the game. Like, they didn't even tell their distributors, and they apparently Smart Industries was getting calls like, hey, what's up with this game after my video? So that's kind of cool. Here it is at IAPA, and you can see it's getting a ton of attention here. All right, so the one we didn't play was the prize version when I was in Houston, and we're gonna play it here at IAPA. Here we go. What red thing? That one there? Yeah. Let's see if, oh, I don't know, it might hit that thing though. Yeah, you can go out and in, and then you check your angles. What do you think, Eric? Right there, you're my angle check. Right there? All right, here we go. It's all intense. Come on, baby. No, you can't on this one. I think we got him, though. Look at that, around the neck, all violent. Woo! Get him, get him, get him! Here we go! Yeah, first try! Hey, I had practice, though, from the one in Houston. Look at that. We got a red fox. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, it's doing really well here. A lot of attention. There's like a line to play these. You can see even the ticket one's doing well, too. Yes, you guys notice this one, too. There's more viewing angles, so this is clear here which is so nice. It just makes it more open, like if you don't have to worry about it blocking things in an arcade. That's the same size claw that was on my little diamond, but I modded it with one of the smaller ones. We'll see if Smart has it here. But uh, yeah, my little diamond's still kicking strong, guys. Like that's a, I bought that thing in like 2011 and it's still working. Like Smart makes some really good cranes here. And then that new prize game that we, we showed just behind you was like totally taking IAPA by storm, so. Yeah, these are nice, I like these. All right guys, so we met April here at the Smart Industry booth. Now April is actually Mr. Smart's daughter. So April, you're a legend, your dad's a legend, and uh, you guys make awesome games. So what's your favorite one here? Uh, my favorite one has to be the robot. It has to be the robot one up front. I would agree, it's a lot of fun. We actually won a plushie out of that. And you'll see it in the, the video when it's out. So great job on those games. So nice to meet you here. 
All righty. Found a Skittles vending machine. Look at this. And it's free here at IAPA. Oh, I guess they're out of all these other ones. I'm a big fan. What's up, man? Shebang. Here, I got a sticker for you. That's me, Arcade Matt. We're yeah, hey, sure, we're getting some Skittles. It's nice to meet you. Have you guys tried this yet? Oh, look, it's, it comes out of there and it fills it in the cup. Oh, that is neat. Wow, that's neat. You got a cup of Skittles. Mm. That's my dinner right there, guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you wanna say hi, what's your name? Nikita. Nikita is here at IAPA. We met him. What's your favorite video? You have one? You. Me, you just love them all? Appreciate it. Nice to meet ya. Crazy cat, guys. You gotta hit Goober. Goober, get out of that trash can. Oh, and then you gotta score so much to get the jackpot. All right, let's try again. Ready, go. You got 30 seconds. I don't know if you have to just make them in there. Yeah, I think so. Balls are flying everywhere. They look like cheese puffs, man. Dude, these are totally cheese puffs right here we're throwing at these cats. Yeah. Oh, I almost got it. Oh, 480, that ain't bad. Dude, 65 tickets. Oh, look, here's a single player one for the house. Crazy kitten, the cats will love it. Guys, we're at the Touch Magic's booth here. Check this game out, this new pop -It game. This is cool, it kind of reminds me of Yahtzee, but look, it actually has a joystick and you move the, the thing on the one you want to try and go in here. Oh, shebang. Oh, that's the blue one, okay. So if you fill them up, I think that's how many tickets you get. So if I go for the white one here, See if we can plop. Oh, see, you're not always guaranteed. Stop, we got a wheel on here that gives you a bunch of goodies. That's neat. The colors do change. Dude, 1250! Shebang! Wow, look at that. Dude, we're hitting like super bonuses like crazy here at IAPA. Day one, man. Oh, get in that red! Wait. Oh, we got blue. Oh, wait, we needed the blue. Oh, you probably have to pop them backwards now. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, we got the spin again. Here we go. We got, yeah, plus a ball. That's another play. This is neat. I like the joystick aspect of it, though. Oh, we need a couple more green. Thing is, it doesn't go all the way in the corner, so you got to kind of get lucky on those. Oh, green! Oh, yellow. Yeah, that's neat. I won 2,000 tickets, guys. Love it. Yeah, this is cool. It's got a really nice look to it too. Very big game and it's basically like a giant Yahtzee with a new theme and more elements. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, you have to launch it in there. Oh, okay, okay. This is cool. I could see me spending forever at this game. Ah! This is tough. Ah, shebang! No, it isn't. Not for Arcade Matt. Oh, and then it can bend it. It bends another one down in. I like this. Badu, badu. Did you get one yet, Eric? Well, your coins can go quick on this. I know. This would be a good earner, though, for an arcade. Ah! Oh, and you can really, if you're an arcade, you can get put anything in these capsules, which is really nice. Come on, giraffe ball. Ah! Oh. Because if you're an arcade, you can put like a. I got it. Nice. I got the first one and then never got it again. <laughs> That's a cool game called Crazy Prize, guys. Yeah, I like it. We're at the Smile Square booth. My God, my brother would love this. He actually archery hunts. First shot. Look at that bullseye! Oh! This is cool. Look at this! Oh. oh, it's hard. I missed it. Eh? Two points! That's pretty neat, I'll tell you what. Boy, the things they think of, you know? Guys, check this out. It's a self-running, oh my God, Daryl needs to get this. It's a self-running hang challenge. The record is 90. The bar has the bar has bearings in it. So it's every 10 seconds you get one ticket. Wow. Oh, this is it gives you tickets? You got two tickets right now. Woo! Uh, what if I went like this? Breaking the system, man. I still can't hang on though. Ah! Oh, 60 seconds? That ain't bad. That's cool. I'm biased for the house. Ice, ice, baby. We're at the ice booth, guys. Check this out. Whack a clown. Holy crap. You don't hit the red ones so. though. This is satisfying. I don't know what that wheel is. I'm kind of intrigued. How do we get that? Game over. Let's see. My score. Oh, I see. And then it gives you your. <laughs> That's neat. Here, I'll try it again. So it's not. You're just like hitting the ones that pop up. You really got to pay attention here. Dude, I'm like boss at this game. Man, if this game had a jackpot, which I don't know if it does. Let's see. We'll see if I beat my first score. Does it have a jackpot? Yeah. Dude, look at this! Oh, I hit the red bigger! Stupid 
red clowns! Oh! Oh, if I didn't hit that red clown, I might have had it. See, I like it. It gives a little bit of a more element to like the older whack-a-mole games. We're not hitting that red clown. That was cool. This game's fun too. We don't see him anywhere though. All right, here we go. It's timeable, kind of. Let's see if we can get that slam dunk bonus, guys. 20 tickets. I think it's as it's coming back. Nah, too late. Oh! Too late. Yeah, like monster. Yeah, but they have one where actually where you can actually win a ball, which is neat. No way. There it is. Uh, get in there. Nah, I missed it again. Yeah, that's a cool game. I wish more arcades would get this. It's a cool game. Guys, we're at Tata Island. You, you know, Tata Island. You've always wanted to visit there. Look at this. It's ready to go. Let's ready see if we can that. get it, guys. I'm just gonna kind of rapid fire. I don't know what's going on with these pearls. Look at this, though. How neat this is. It actually builds it and then pushes it out. See, that's neat. Tata Island! Oh, come on, Tata! I don't know what's going on back there, but it's an intriguing game. It's kind of interesting that the tower builder actually builds and then is able to, I guess, push it out to the left. Much better design. Yeah, but Angry Birds was one of the first of its kind, though. You gotta give them, you know, they pioneered it. Yeah, nice! Tata! <laughs> nice! Instead of shebang, that's gonna be my new catchphrase, guys. Tata! Kinda neat. I have no clue what's going on back there, but I'm intrigued though. Uh, oh wait, there it goes. Look, it lifts it up. Yeah, that's neat. Wow. Yeah. So then you don't have to wait for it to. Boy, that's yeah. Isn't that crazy, dude? That's like pristine. That's so satisfying. And I guess you can get like see a bunch of you can get pretty tall towers on this. Pretty neat. All right, so we're at good old Andamero, guys. Check this out. You guys know him from like SpongeBob Pusher, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy game that we played. It's that thing where you gotta collect them all in the cars, but this is Tick Shack Toe. Very hard to pronounce for some reason. Let's do one player. I'll play against the computer. All right, I'm X. Let's see what happens. Computer's cheating, I feel like. He only gets so much time. Okay, he's gonna go out there. Oh! What? Oh, get in there! Oh, that's lame. Computer shoot! Wait, a computer sucks. What are you doing, computer? Oh, I blocked him. That's tough. He's gonna get it no matter what. Oh no. Come on! Get in there! Yeah! Tick tap! Tick shack! Oh, baby! Jackpot, 70 tickets right there. Nice, that was cool. It's kind of like Connect Four, but with tic-tac-toe. All right, so this is Anamiro's first crane, guys. Look at this crazy toy. They got this one filled with freaking candy and whatnot. Boy, that claw is ginormous. Did you get anything, Eric? Well, you, you're playing the plushy one. Oh, I almost said, if I win anything out of this, it'd be an absolute. Oh, nice, Eric got a tiger. I don't know, man. Let's try for a candy cane, maybe. I like, they're, they're very bright cranes. Like, they're very lit up well. Let's see if we can win a lamb. Woo! Matt had a little lamb. 8,000 tickets. Let's see if we can win 10,000 tickets. Get it! Oh! Yeah, these are good. But see how bright they are, though? I like that. So this is Retro Arcade LLC, guys. Remade this classic ice cold beer. I mean, this looks legit. It's amazing. And there's, they added like new elements and stuff to this too, so it's, it can be much harder. So basically you just gotta guide the ball up into the, each lit row here and you use these up and down joysticks. It's a classic game, but it gets uber tough. There's number two, nice. Now, back in the day, if you got it up all the way to 10, they would give you an ice cold beer. Number four. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Get in there, nice. Woo. Five is when it starts to get tricky. Oh, mama. Nice. Easy, mama. <laughs> Look at this, how intense. It's like surgery. Go, go, go. There it is. Oh. Yeah! Dude, I might be getting a nice cold beer. Six here. Six? Yeah, but this is tough here. This is tougher than it looks. Oh, okay. Made that look easy. Seven looks ridiculous. I'm thinking maybe this way and then up and in. Yeah, if we can get it up this way and just kind of oomph it up. This is tricky here. There we go. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm like on point. Oh! I got too excited. Oh, get down there! Wait, I'm not yet! Oh my god. Whoa, okay. 
Here, this is gonna be tricky here. Yeah. I think you got it there. You're in good space right now. Oh, eight! Oh my god! Could we make it all the way to 10? I think I'm gonna go this way. Oh, oh. Oh my god, I've never made nine before. How are you supposed to get in there? Oh, oh my god! Can I make 10? This is gonna suck. Oh! That's tough. 4100. Shebang. Let me know what you guys think of ice cold beer. Thank you for the ice cold Snickers. It's not ice cold, but we're gonna eat it anyway. All right, so we're at Namco booth here. Check this out, guys. Rolling with the Ghosties. Pac-Man Ski Ball. I suck at Ski Ball. Oh, there's a minus if you, it says minus a thousand. I wonder what that is. And it actually, see this I like. It actually keeps your score thing here on what you get on the LED thing. I can hit the 5,000, it's not bad. Ah, uh, let's try for a 10,000, come on. Oh, I was close! Oh my, oh yeah, the negative 1,000 if you get it in the back. That's kind of interesting. Oh, oh, oh! Ah, oh, I keep getting negatives! Frick, I got four tickets. Oh, that worked. Let's try again. I gotta beat the record of 44,000. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 10,000 for the record there. I don't suck at. Oh, that was in it. Look. It was like boom, boom, and boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. You got the 5,000? Yeah, I got the 5,000. Oh, another 10,000 to finish it up, but the game was already over. Look at all these negatives. Negative, 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 negative. 10 G's. Negative, negative, negative. I like it. Okay, thumbs up. All right, here we go. Pac-Man power pellets, guys. I've got a head start here with like all these balls. Uh, mine only has two in them. I'm taking it, I'm stealing his power pellets here, guys. Wow. He's hoarding up on the power pellets here, man. Look, like mine aren't bending out in time. Maybe they're losing them at the show. <laughs> People are trying to take the power pellets. No, don't do that. Dude, I'm good at this game. As I miss like the next three. I got a lucky prize, I don't know what that is. Oh, look. Oh, and then you win tickets. That's neat. Oh, 50. Oh, I got 40. Yeah, I like this. Let's play again. Ready, go. Give me my balls, man. Is there one that gives you more than the others? The screen's moving to the bottom, so when the ball falls on you, get out. Oh, I see the screen on the bottom. Okay. Oh, I got some kind of bonus thing. Bonus requires a thousand. Quit stealing my balls! You dingleberry? <laughs> Hey, Look, there's nothing in here. Oh wait, time out. All right, here we go. Lucky prize. Let's get that 500 tickets. My button ain't. Oh my God, the freaking pineapple or whatever. No, the peach. I got the peach. That was cool. Yeah, that's a fun game. I like it because I feel like I can do kind of good. All right, guys. So check this out. Cosmic Fire here. LAI Games booth. We're still at. You guys might recognize this from somewhere. So this is another variation of the game that we announced here. And what you do basically is you, you drop the coins, kind of like Angry Birds. And uh, once you fill those up, it starts a party time. Now, what you want to do is you want a ball to go in the up thing there, which is good. So now it goes up to the next level. Look at this. Now it'll go back and forth. Now preferably we want another up, which actually it's coming around here. Oh, would this be a hoot? Come on, oh my god, level three, first ball. Look, now we're on level three. And see, there's the up! Oh my god, level four! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we might get to the... No way, you guys don't know how many times... Look at this, this could be super bonus right here. Oh my god, how lucky did I get? Ugh. And then obviously the top one has the top award. Super bonus! No freaking way! You can't make this... Okay, we got witnesses here. Colby, did you witness this? Yes, this was actually the first one of the show. This is the first one of the show. Yeah. Now, you guys didn't rig this for me, right? Nope, no, no rigging. You heard it from LAI Games themselves. Allison, you didn't rig this for me, right? I promise we didn't. You're just this lucky. Is, you're, you're literally hearing this from LAI Games, guys. I know you're not going to believe me. That was freaking incredible. You guys don't know how hard that is to hit. Wow. All right, let's keep going here. We'll do a few more plays. We'll see if we can get one of the party times. One more for coin, maybe. So the coins now stay at 20. So every coin through a coin is going to crap out 20 coins. 
and you can really rack that up in this party time. And then you'll notice they're kind of bending through here. A little uh, fireballs here. Uh, we got an up here. Uh, that one gave us 80. See, they're bending through now. That one's an up. Uh, that one's a 40. This one might be an up here. Let's see. Okay, level three. To hit it again, I'll crap a pickle. One, 120 on, on level uh, three. Let's see, level two, 35 there. Oh, we got another up. See this one, you have a one and two shot on this level here. And even if it hits that thing, see how it's going that way? So there, now we're on level three on this ball. Ooh, that up was right there, so we're probably gonna get the 90. And it looks like the like the 90 is spaced a little bit more too than the up. Oh no, we got the 100, okay. You guys see, this can really add up here. I cannot believe we hit that. All right, so you guys might have recognized that Cosmic Spire game if you watched my uh, previous video about Arcade Online. They made an exclusive game themed around that and rebranded uh, it as Mount Shebang, as you guys know on Arcade Online arcade mat theme so that was really cool to actually see another variation of that game here and to celebrate the launch of mount shebang i'm going to be giving away a goober these are so cool look at this goober rubber keychain and an enamel pin they're already in your shopping cart and they're going to ship with your next order they're free on arcade online but it's only while supplies last guys so once they run out that's it and you guys can use code mount shebang 20 to get 20 percent off any token bundle with arcade online but i thought that was really cool that they ended up making these so snag them while they're there and before they're gone so real quick guys uh, this company called playmore i met with the guy here they're from overseas give me some really cool insight so the game that we were just playing like cosmic spire and even like angry birds coin crash rick and morty this is like the manufacturer of those games and what lai games does is they reskin them for uh the north american market and they kind of polish up the kinks and stuff like that in the games. That was actually really cool to actually meet the OG of some of these games. For example, like, you know, Cosmic Spire was originally called Demon Tower, like overseas. So LAI Games takes it, rebrands and stuff like that. Sometimes they'll put IPs on them, which is like licensed things like Angry Birds, Rick and Morty and stuff like that. So really, really neat to actually get that behind the scenes insight here. So they do a lot of the uh, stuff for LAI Games. So I just wanted to throw that in there. All right, guys. That's IAPA, day one. There's gonna be a day two coming up. We're here tomorrow again. We're gonna be finishing up some arcade games that we didn't show, and also off to the carnival games tomorrow. Let me know in the comments your favorite brand new game that we showed in this video, guys. There was a lot of cool ones here, and uh, we had fun. Big thanks to Adam for filming and Eric for participating. But yeah, thank you guys both. And uh, arcademat.com, plush and prizes for sale. And like we always say, thanks for watching with my lemonade. <laughs>